wake up, United Kingdom, wake up. Can you not see what is happening at this exact moment all around you? Whilst you sit at home and maybe watch EastEnders or the latest reality show and you're being sedated and you're not seeing what's actually happening all around you. The people who wish to overturn your vote are winning. And they're not just doing this because they believe the EU is a good project. That's a, an argument that could be had. You can think the EU is good or bad, but this isn't what this is about anymore. Do you not realise who is involved in these organisations, the so-called independence group, the people involved in it? Who is their hero? Who is their cheerleader? Tony Blair. Tony Blair, the man who we all sat so peacefully and watched him send us into illegal wars, change the face of our country with constant new rules and regulations, allowed the whole appearance and feeling of the way we live to change because of him and his plans. And he has been coming out here to Brussels and talking to people saying, stay strong, don't give ground to the British because they'll give way in the end. That's the man who's behind these things, like the independence group and all the rest of it. Him and his friends. And we all sit there and go, oh well, we'll just watch it unfold. Well, it's not going to work out that way. And it's all very well to sit at home and be critical and say, oh, well, Bill, you're out there in Brussels, you do something. I'm trying. But it's no good for one man or one or two people to be trying to do something. We've all got to say something. We've all got to stand up. This is your way of life. Do you realise that if this, we lose this, do you realise what's going to happen? It's not about the EU anymore. I doubt very much in some people's minds, if it ever was, this is about people who believe they know better than you. How to live your life, how you should behave, what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say, what you can put on social media and what you can't put on social media. And what do we do? Well, we say, We'll leave it to uh, that Farage bloke or that Etheridge or whoever else. We'll leave it to them and we'll sit in the pub and moan about it. Well, it's no good anymore to do that. We've got to get together and do something. We've got a few weeks left. If we lose this battle, you will see the effects of this for years to come. You've got a government that was elected on a lie on their manifesto. Theresa May as a Prime Minister, who lied over 20 times saying she wouldn't call an election, has lied over 50 times saying she wouldn't consider extending Article 50. And what's happening? She's lied to you. She's getting away with it. Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party. We don't support a second referendum. What are they doing now? Supporting a second referendum. They're lying to you. They're getting away with it. And all the time, what do we do? I can guarantee you, come the next election, oh, I'm going to vote Labour because my family's always voted Labour. I'm going to vote Conservative because that's what my dad did. Wake up. It's time to actually give these people a dose of reality. Unless, unless you're all so sedated and comfortable that you're all right with being treated like children. Put into a nice comfortable cage, told what you can and can't do and how you can and can't live. If that's what you want, fine, because that's what you're going to get. Or in the next few weeks, before the most crucial votes in British political history, you can start doing a few basic things. Email, write to your MPs. If there's a protest arranged near you, turn up. Get in touch with your local newspaper. Join a political party, not one of the main ones. Support Nigel Farage and the Brexit party. Register on the website. Do something. We're fighting this hard. It's all right to sit back and complain, but this is not a spectator sport. Politics is not a spectator sport. It needs all of us involved, or we will lose. And if we lose, then I promise you, your lives and your children's lives will be different. Different to what you ever expected. But if you want to sit in a comfortable cage with limitations on what you can say, think and do, being told what's best for you and blatantly lied to and you still can't put your cross in the same box or well, you're going the right way. Let's get together and in a calm and peaceful but passionate way fight against these lies and these liars.
We've got a few weeks. Let's mobilise. Do the things we can. And remember, at the next elections, do not vote for these liars. Let them feel this pain, whatever happens. It's time to take things into our own hands. The government and the establishment have let us down. Choice is yours. I know what I'll be doing.